Paget's or metastatic tumor of the prostate. Sometimes you may be presented with an x-ray of the lumbar spine, usually an AP and lateral views, and the vertebra looks very white. They ask you a question, and the question, is it a Paget's disease affecting the vertebra or a metastatic tumor of the prostate? They probably don't make you rely on the radiologic pictures alone because they can look the same or similar in different conditions. Some of the patients will require other tests to differentiate between Paget's and metastatic tumor. We are going to try to identify how we differentiate between the two conditions. In Paget's disease, the vertebra looks like a picture frame, and it is called picture frame vertebral body. The picture frame vertebral body is a radiologic appearance where the cortex of the vertebral body is thickened. There will be vertebral body expansion and coarsened trabeculae. There is an increased opacity of the cortex on all sides of the vertebral body, which is in contrast to the rugger jersey spine, where the sclerosis is seen only at the superior and inferior vertebral end plates. There will be disorganized new cortical bone formation after excessive osteoclastic activity that causes resorption of the normal bone, and you will see condensation of bone along its peripheral margins that resembles a picture frame. Metastatic prostate have an osteoplastic lesion. A metastatic breast tumor can also have an osteoplastic lesion. Paget can also appear to have an osteoplastic lesion. In Paget disease, there will be an increase in the alkaline phosphatase, in the urinary hydroxyproline, and in the n telopeptide. In general, Pagets will have a mosaic pattern and also cement lines under the microscope. You can also see the cortical thickening in Paget disease. If you see on an x-ray an osteoblastic lesion of the lumbar vertebra in an older male patient, or if you see that in a CT scan, you're probably dealing with a metastatic prostate carcinoma. And when you see the white vertebra in the examination or in the clinic, sometimes it's called ivory vertebra sign. There will be diffuse and homogeneous increase in the obesity of the vertebral body. The vertebral body is normal in size and contour, with no changes in the adjacent intervertebral disc. The intervertebral discs are normal. In adult males, this indicates metastatic cancer of the prostate, or it can be a breast cancer in females. The histology will show adenocarcinoma with gland formation. The histology and the x-rays will establish the diagnosis, and the prostate-specific antigen will confirm the diagnosis. Paget may be polyostatic and may be similar to prostatic metastatic carcinoma, and the x-rays will probably show coarsening of the trabeculae pattern rather than an osteoplastic infiltrating process. There is another entity called Rugger Jersey spine, which occurs due to hyperparathyroidism. It describes the prominent sub plate density at multiple contiguous vertebral levels. There will be alternating sclerotic lucent appearance, which looks like the horizontal stripes of a rugby jersey. Because it occurs with hyperparathyroidism, 
there will be an increased resorption due to excessive parathyroid hormone secretion with subsequent loss of bone mass. That's why you see the lucent areas. Also, the osteoblasts make osteoid that does not have hydroxyapatite and does not appear dense on x-rays. The area which are dense or sclerotic at the superior and inferior end plate of the vertebral body indicates accumulation of excess osteoid and it appears dense when compared to the normal bone. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.